Hi, welcome to the ETL and Informatica session. Uh, I am Savita. Today's session we will understand uh, loading the multiple flat files into a single target and then backup all the source files. With this example, you will understand the term indirect loading, importing a flat file, understand a simple mapping, few DOS commands, writing and executing script files using the command task. Before we start, let's understand the scenario for this example. Consider a uh, department data coming from multiple uh, sources uh, like flat files. Suppose we have multiple flat files and then we have to load all of those flat files into one single target. Consider S1, S2, S3 as the source files coming in and we have to load all of the source files to the one single target, say T1. And then we have to copy all of the source files to a backup directory. So in this case, I will create a backup directory or a folder by name department and the sysdate. So today is 24, so it would be department-24. For next day, so it would create the next like department-25. So it will create a folder and then copy all of these files to the separate folders each time the data load that basically this load would be every day. So every day it will create one folder and then load the uh, copy all of those files to the backup folder. So and let's start understanding it by creating the mapping. Okay, so Okay, so this is a simple plain mapping. There is no other transformation used. I'm only using the source qualifier and the target definition. Okay, so source qualifier basically it will load the data from the source and then target definition is basically loading the data to the target system. Target, so either the target would be a flat file, a oracle, or uh, you know, uh, XML. So basically, this is current in current example. I have the source as the flat file and the target is also a flat file. Okay, so now. In this example, as we have multiple flat files, let me first show you the flat files, the sources. So this is a source directory. Okay. In this directory, I have one more folder as department source files. Okay. So these are these uh, flat files, the source files, department one, department two, department three and department four. So these are the four, four fl flat files what I have as a sources. So in this example, first thing what we have to create is we have to create a department list like you, what we what I have here. I have a, one more flat file where I am noting down all of the files to be loaded. Right? from department 1, department 2, department 3 and department 4. Okay, in case I have any other file or I have to deal, uh, remove this file, I can simply remove it from the list, right? So this is department 4. If I have to have one more file, I'll just create it as department, say 5. Okay, and in this I'll have to just make a note of the new file that is I have to make an entry. So this is department five. Okay, so this is department five. This is what we have to do. So let me save this and just change some data in department five. So let me change it as say five five and five okay so this is just a dummy data okay so this is what i have one two three four five in this department this is 11 12 22 23 24 and in three i have one 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 two 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 and department four i have three one one let me make it as four okay so this is four 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 what i have okay 
and then in department 5 I have 5, 511, 522, 533, 54. Okay, so this is what the source I have. So as, as I said, this is a plane mapping. I'm not using any of the transformations for any data change here. It is just getting the data and loading to the target. Okay, so how do we import the flat uh, flat as a source file? So go to the source analyzer, go import flat files. Okay, so as all of the files have the same data structure, so you can just import one of them. Okay, so all of them having the same structure. So structure in sense, all the files have the same number of columns and the data type. So I can just click any one of them and say import. Okay, so import basically in this uh, flat files, I don't have the headers. So I'm just importing from the start uh, row from one. Okay, now next is the delimiter so in this case the delimiter was comma so i'm giving it as a comma if you have any other thing like uh, pipe or symbol so you can mention it over here okay so this pipeline or something you can just mention it over so it will get act as a delimiter okay so next here you can mention the uh, column names and the data type okay so this is what is how we import the flat file so I am not going to say yes because I already have it okay so this is what I have already have the flat file okay let me get into the mapping so this is the source what I have you have to after you import it you have to simply go and drag and drop from the source right so this is done okay the target definition and connect to the target definition okay so now once you have done this, you have to simply validate. This is a good practice to always validate your mapping once you have done. Okay, so validate it and then you create a, a generator workflow. So either you generate a workflow from here or you can get it, go into the workflow manager and create the workflow. Okay, so generating a workflow is nothing but we have a wizard which comes in and then you can select the options and give the uh, you know names here. So this is basically coming from department source and then the source and the target informations will be provided here. Here is basically creating the workflow name. Okay, just create it with something too as I already have. Okay, so basically give the workflow name and then say next or workflow is created. Okay, so now let's go to the workflow manager. Okay, so I have a workflow here with a session and the basically only the session task okay we have the workflow with the session so in this session let me just get into it edit and then we have several tabs here go to the mapping section source and target so source is basically this is the option which you have to note down okay here we have by default the source file type would be direct let's you have to make it as indirect okay so basically by default it would be direct you have to change it to indirect and then you have to men give the source directory so source directory is my department source file right so this is my source directory you have to give this this path okay so you have to mention the path there okay so it is infra shared source directory right and then you have to in the source file name you have to mention the department list so department list is nothing but the the data what all, information of power about all the flat files right department list you have to mention the department list here right so indirect indirect the source file uh, path and the department list these are the three information which you have to give for this kind of indirect loading right so i say okay 
and then this is done. Save and start the workflow. Okay, it is already succeeded. One more thing, let me just show you. I showed you the source, right? Source I have showed, but target, target is also same. I just have given the name as department.txt. So this is the flat file where the data will get loaded. Right? I'll, I have created a department.txt. So it will go and save into the direct target directory. Okay, let's go and open the target so this is the target directory and there you can see the department file so look at this the data five 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 four three two one this is what the data is let me show you c1 two Okay, three, okay, four and five. See, one, one, one is the fifth uh, department, and four, four is the fourth. So, this is what the data is loaded into the one single target table. Uh, we can also load it to target table. For this uh, example, I have loaded it in the flat file okay in our regular examples we will try loading into our flat uh, you know target table and see with other transformation logic into that okay so now the loading part is done now we have to back up the source file so now back up the source files right so let's see how do we do that Okay, so workflow has many tasks. Okay, so basically I have a session task, command task, decision task, event task, email task, timer. There are different tasks here. In currently I will be using a command task to take the backup. So I have a command task here. Okay, so how do you get it just create go to command and then enter and say create so it will create a command task okay so i already have it here let me just link it okay now what is there in this command task command task is basically to execute the commands okay so okay so there are many ways of backing up the files for now we'll just see you know few commands here like i will create a folder and then copy the files so basically i have taken this to show you few commands so i'm just making it in a round like you know as i said there are different ways to do this for me for now i will just use a way of first we'll create a folder and then we will uh, copy the files into this particular created newly created folder so now make directory is the command okay mkdir is a command okay and then i am creating that directory in this particular location this is infa underscore working folder backup and the name would be department hyphen and this is the format basically date is the uh, function which will give you the current date and with this particular format it will give the current date let's see it in the command prompt so let me open the command prompt say what would happen is echo date okay so in this case see look at this what i'm getting is wednesday 02 24 2000 16 this is what information i am getting now let me change it to what i have so i what i have is date colon 
this is what I have right so let me enter and check so I am getting 24 what is 24 24 is basically current today's date so how how am I getting it it is taking from the seventh position and two characters so basically it is taking from seven zero one two three four five six seven so 24 and I'm taking two digits right so it is giving me 24 right so what it would create is basically it will create <coughs> sorry look at this it would create as department hyphen 24 right this particular command okay so fine then we are using a copy command okay copy command okay so copy command what is it doing okay here copy command is basically it is copying the files from the source directory and copying it into the newly created directory so i am giving the directory name like this so whatever created it will go and save into the currently created folder okay so cancel so okay so say let's apply and then say okay now first let me show you the backup folder where it will save okay so this is my working folder and this is the backup right this is the folder i don't have any folders over here okay now let's run the start the workflow okay say save okay let's go to the workflow monitor look at this session has succeeded start and then this command task is also succeeded let's go to the backup folder and say look at this we get we have got 20 department 24 right and all the files are there in this department department 3 4 5 and a folder is created by department hyphen 24 okay so this is one scenario and just moving uh, i just sh uh, showed you with using two commands right we can also have a batch script okay and then just call the batch script here and then create the folder structure so let's show you the okay here in this case i'm just calling a look at this i'm just forget about this yeah look at this i'm just calling a batch script c dot batch bat okay and then it will do the same uh, this one as what we have you know it will execute the same commands as what we have so let me just show you what is there in this batch script okay this is the script open okay so here it is these are the uh, comments and basically what this is doing is it is checking if the file exists okay if the file exists it will uh, sorry if the folder exists okay then it will simply copy the files if the folder doesn't exist then it will create the or create the folder so this is what is written in the batch script when you execute that you will get a structure in this case i have given a different folder structure uh, name that is a uh, test i uh, test to here test to here so if i run this mapping i will get one more folder says test to here so this is basically executing using a batch script okay so there are many more examples in our regular classes so okay this is one of them and uh, yeah this is the scenario how you create uh, how you you know uh, load multiple flat files into single target and then take the backup of these source files so thank you for watching 
Bye.